we don't think in the brain there's like an explicit merging procedure happening where you take two totally separate models and then somehow calculate the similarity and put them into one, but instead that the brain um, learns from the statistics of its input. So if it sees a um, hundred different coffee mugs throughout its life and those coffee mugs will share some similarities, but they will also have some differences. Um, and let's say this is a, a pretty general model that should model just a generic coffee mug. It will represent all the things that are kind of consistent across coffee mugs um, because those um, locations and features are always active no matter which specific instance of the coffee mug um, the agent is looking at or the sensor is looking at. Um, so it will kind of represent the consistencies between different instances to learn a general model and we have something um, for this already implemented in Monty. It's not um, a mechanism we use in this paper, but it is something we plan to look into more in the future. And one thing that we think will be important for kind of how the, the model scales as it learns more about the world is hierarchy. Um, because humans, when we see the world naturally, kind of decompose uh, everything we see into simpler objects and then we kind of use those to understand kind of a new object that we've seen. Uh, but generally this kind of gives you a much more efficient representation of the world. You end up uh, reusing a lot of uh, what you already know much more than if you kind of had a totally flat hierarchy where you kind of tried to learn every single object that you ever see as an entirely new one. Uh, so that's also an important thing and again Kind of like what Vivian was just talking about, we have a very early version of this kind of hierarchy implemented, but it's not made it into the paper just because it's still something we're kind of uh, working and experimenting with.